Hey guys, welcome back. Diana Jenkins is in hot water and I feel like there is a racism scandal with Bravo every other week. Nene has been vindicated at this point, okay, by default. Yes, Diana Jenkins from Beverly Hills. Yes, that Diana Jenkins, the one that was photographed with the MAGA party leader, Donald Trump. The one that was photographed with the Jeffrey Epstein, the one that was being a Karen to her neighbors. And yes, that Diana Jenkins, the one with the photography book by the name of Room 23 that depicts images of the lifestyles of mistresses and madams, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. There was a black content creator on Instagram that did like a side-by-side -side comparison of what Diana used to look like. And Diana did not like the fact that people were exposing the fact that she looked a certain type of way. Now, I don't know how you can be upset at somebody trying to post pictures of you when you're a celebrity, especially on the Real Housewives. Don't be mad at the people posting the photo. Be mad at you looking the way that you did. It's, it's not us posting it. It's your face. If you don't like the way your face looked, that's not our fault. That's your fault. She said that picture was actually taken at the UCLA Law School talking about war crimes in my country and setting up human rights clinics that I financed before war criminals were brought to justice. Mm. I don't know what the point is of that story. Like, do you want a cookie for being a humanitarian? Like, thank you. Like, we love it to see it. But you pulling on our heartstrings ain't going to deny the fact that you are racially insensitive like your good sis Sutton. She said, I was probably 20 or 30 pounds skinnier and having glam was the last thing on my mind. Mm -hmm. Also looks like the picture is manipulated. No, it's not. But shame on you. You and your BS shopping. Now, maybe she means photoshopping. But again, don't be mad at me for posting it. Be mad at you for the way your face looks. It's not my fault, sis. Anyways, listen. The content creator, who so happens to be a black woman, uh, responded and was like, oh my God, I can't believe you responded, this, that, and the third. And then Diana then responded with, it can't feel good being a black content creator. Mm. And I was like, what, Diana? Like, honestly, when I first saw that, I didn't even think racism. I just thought this woman is dumb. This woman is stupid. Like, what are you trying to say? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. Chris Tucker style, right? Well, um, y'all, after the backlash, because, you know, she received backlash. Like, what do you mean? It must feel, it, it must not feel good being a black content creator. Like, what are you talking about? What is your angle here, sis? It's giving racism. It's giving Jenny Wynn. It's giving Sutton. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving something. She wrote, at Crystal Kung Minkoff, woke me up screaming at me, demanding to know what I meant by this comment. I assumed black content creator was a title referring to a page that would be focused on snarky content. I copied the term because I thought that's what it meant. I didn't realize it was referencing you as a black woman and a content creator. I am deeply, deeply, deeply sorry. I'm devastated that this has been taken to mean something racially insensitive. I understand now why it was taken like that. And that was never my intention. I am truly sorry, girl. Save your apologies. We don't want it. We don't need it. Bravo has a history at this point of just hiring these folks with racial blinders. Anyways, um, listen, let me know how y'all feel about that. Speaking of Bravo and their racially insensitive talent, uh, Sergio, Caroline Stanberry from Dubai, her husband, boyfriend, fiance, whatnot. They dug up his old tweets. He allegedly was saying the N-word. Are we vindicating Nene or not? Okay. Was Nene correct or not? Anyways, moving right along. Speaking of uh, black people, I'm trying to make a segue. Uh, Kenya Moore Hair Care, she is admitting that she wears bad wigs. And I know a lot of the folks were upset at me because I reposted that, um, Instagram's, that Instagram story of Kenya Moore and her very poorly placed lace wig. And listen, a lot of y'all you know, misinterpreted the point of that YouTube short, which got like 15,000 views. So thank y'all so much. Um, a lot of y'all thought that I was trying to expose her for wearing a wig and that's dumb. That's really silly. That's not really a productive thing to do because everybody already knows that she wears wigs. Tanya already exposed that. So why would I need to expose it? 
Secondly, y'all thought that, you know, I was trying to expose her hair care line. No, Kenya Moore hair care is just a nickname for Kenya Moore. When I'm when when I say Kenya Moore hair care, nine times out of ten, I'm not talking about the hair care line. I'm talking about Kenya herself. And lastly, a lot of y'all kept saying, I mean, who cares that she's wearing a wig? She has beautiful hair underneath. That's not the point. The point is we can see the lace. Okay. And I'm not trying to drag the woman because it wasn't even me saying it. I was just reposting it. Like, damn. I'm never going to drag a woman about her hair. But this is the same woman that dragged Drew Sedora about her hair, but is on this, this, this streak of these hairstyles. And Kenya Moore herself has admitted to plopping on bad wigs. Not my words. Those are her words. And I have the clip to prove it. Check this out. It, no, it's landing. is very off. No, that wig is very off. Yes, because no, that I'm trying wig to get is here. It's a no. mess. She said it, not me. Okay, don't get mad at me for something that Kenya said herself. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.